They're marching for their survival. Indigenous protesters attending the annual free land camp in Brazil's capital are demanding the immediate demarcation of their lands. They say it's the only way to protect their territories. For us, the marsh represents a place to claim our right, to show that we have existed for over 500 years. The free land camp enables the people of every state in Brazil to fight for their land rights and for their existence. Indigenous communities have faced increased threats to their homes in recent years. Deforestation accelerated every year under former President Jair Bolsonaro as ranchers and miners took advantage of lax environmental regulations. During his re-election campaign, Brazil's new president, Lula da Silva, promised to grant protected status to half a million square kilometers of Amazonian rainforests. The situation of the indigenous people in Brazil today is terrible. We have been going through many difficulties, mainly the demarcation of land, which today we do not have. That is why we live in this war. Our people are fighting without land and facing discrimination. The free land camp is expected to last for 10 days. Brazil's indigenous Congress deputy says there's been progress since the first meeting was held 19 years ago. I declare the opening of the Terra Livre encampment in this house where indigenous people are no longer received with pepper spray, but through the front door, occupying the National Congress. Because if there was no room for indigenous relatives, there would be no room for an indigenous parliamentarian. Global Witness says more than 300 environmental activists have been killed in Brazil in the past decade. But the fight for their land is a risk these indigenous protesters are prepared to take. Barbara Angopa, Al Jazeera.